Hello again, Victor and Dave from Australian Honeybee. Just thought we'd give a make a quick video. We actually spent the weekend down here looking for trees, uh, floral resources to put our bees on in the Australian native bush. One of the challenges we have with the Australian native bush is how tall the trees are. So if you're not aware, we've got a eucalyptus species here with, of about 700 different uh, different different species, and some of them grow very tall. Uh, so we we have trouble with um, some uh, of them. Uh, meaning this one, uh, we know it's a yellow stringy now. We're um, identifying it by getting this branch down. We'll show you how we do that in a little while, but um, by the bud shape, we're looking at also uh, leaf color too helps. Um, we know this one's yellow stringy by the shape of the bud. And then a double check that we can do with yellow stringy is getting some of the old fruit too. Now with the yellow stringy, the fruit is sort of singular uh, in clusters, whereas um, your white stringy is a, a tight ball of clusters. So, so that, yeah, that gives you a bit of an idea. That's just an example of why it's really difficult sometimes to identify which trees which. Yeah. Is. Now this, in, sorry. Well, in the area that we're here now, there's about three different stringy barks growing, and they all look the same. This this came out of a tree that's around 20 to 25 meters tall. So it's very difficult, and the buds are only quite small. If I bring them into the camera, the, the buds are very, very small, and they're of a particular shape. Now, the only difference between, there's only a couple of small differences between this one and the other couple that are in this area here. One is the shape of the bud. Now, to get the bud down, down from a 25 meter tall tree is something we're gonna show you at the end of this video, but but we've got some tools that we wanted to show you. First of all is, is the book that we use. This is our main book. We've got a library of books, but this is the main one we use. And this is called The Field Guide to Eucalypts. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty ratty. It goes everywhere with us in the truck. There's a few reasons why we like this book. One is it, uh, it provides a nice description here of the tree, the leaf, uh, the leaf size, shape, color. Uh, it talks about the fruit, the, the buds, the bud and the flower. It shows you some really nice pictures of the tree and the buds and the bark. I'll move that up. And importantly, it also mentions here in the in the text the uh, the flowering period. So you know whether it's September through to March or whatever. So and and the, finally, the map is really important. So when you're looking uh, at a particular tree, this book's got a lot of different species in it. So it helps to narrow down that you're looking at the right tree. If if, if it's not in the area that you that you currently are, then chances are it's not going to be that tree so that's the book we use uh, what we want to do is show you uh, three three methods, methods that we use. three methods we use to inspect these tall trees and the buds and identify them the first one is our spotting scope so these are quite inexpensive re relatively inexpensive I think we paid maybe four to five hundred dollars all up for the for the uh, for the device and the tripod one of the things with this we found is it's 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 good in the sense it's a, it's a, definitely a step up on what you can see over a binoc standard binoculars, but it's a bit of mucking around. We've got to set it up and and get it focused, and it's a little bit finicky, you know, to get focused. And then you can't take the images with you, so we've now moved on to a new a new tool. Mm. This one is working very well. This is very handy. Now this is a Nikon. A Coolpix P900, and this this baby has a serious zoom zoom lens on it, so it, it has an 83 times zoom. Now that allows us to zoom zoom in on these tall trees, 30 meter tall tree, bring the pitch bring the buds right in, almost filling the screen, and then we can photograph the bud and the leaf and the different attributes, the the old fruit that might be still hanging on the tree, and uh, then we can grab those images. And on the screen here, on the back screen, I can then zoom them in even further. So this takes looking and identifying trees to a whole new level for us. And then the other cool thing about this is we can take that data back home and put it onto our computer screen, and we can uh, keep that and archive it. And in, you know, if we need to uh, seek expert advice, you know, we've got all that evidence. So it's got the location. Uh, give us the location of where it is. Um, and then uh, with the next little uh, the GPS signal uh, piece of uh, hardware that uh, Victor's got. Um, so I've purchased a piece of software 
from CSIRO called Euclid, which is Euclidus ID software. We so haven't that, installed it yet, but in principle, that'll be a software program we run on our computer. We can take compute the laptop or the tablet with us when we go out inspecting trees and we can start to use that software. Now, I'll create another video later once we've had a chance. To, we have, we've only just bought that, so purchased that, so. But it, 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 it looks like it'll give us the chance we can send the photos and whatnot off to CSIRO uh, that we get because of that program and then they will identify the tree for us if need be. Now, mm. the final, we're going to show you how we got this one down out of a 25 metre tall tree. Mm. Uh, we've got a cool, a cool tool over here leaning against a tree which uh, Dave's going to show you what we do. I'll just work the life this one. Uh, Sorry, um, we uh, we're trying out. We try a number of different shells. Depends on distance and things like that. Um, if we need to get the bud down and we need to really have a close look at it, see colours and whatnot, um, this is one of the best ways to do it. So, but you can only shoot so many of these in a day. Get one, Dave. We've got one. <laughs> Good uh, stuff. And now we can identify that quite clearly. Um, yellow stringy is what we're chasing. Now that we're looking a little bit closer, we can see the tops of buds are starting to get a little bit brown. Uh, this one, not as much as we'd like. Um, gives us an indication whether it's going to be this year or next year that it's going to flower. Uh, so, thanks for watching. We just wanted to show you uh, how we the tools that we use and the tricks that we use to uh, identify our territory, our floral territory, and uh, we hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.